welcome back to spectrum classes in this video we are going to prepare one normal sulfuric acid from the concentrated sulfuric acid so here i'm just going to show you the specifications of h2so4 so you can see the density molecular weight and the assay so assay is 98 percent for this sulfuric acid just for the sake of simplicity or safety point of view i have transferred some of the concentrated sulfuric acids in bottle now to prepare one normal h2so4 how much i need to take concentrated sulfuric acid so for this purpose uh, here i have given mo uh, molecular weight density assay and just to convert this assay into concentration i have divided it by 100 and i get 0.98 so i'm just going to prepare normal solution so for that purpose gram equivalent per liter and uh, per liter means 1000 ml i have to take here i'm just going to calculate the weight so i need to multiply with the assay which i have converted into concentration its density into volume so in that way i just get this much of weight and now to calculate the equivalent weight for h2so4 it is 98 by 2 because this has this is the molecular weight 98 and divided by 2 means n factor is 2 so how we can calculate n factor uh, for this h2so4 so this h2so4 is having two dissociable protons therefore its n factor is 2 so 98 divided by 2 and we get 49 now we are going to calculate the gram equivalent so to calculate the gram equivalent weight which we have calculated divided by equivalent weight i have written over here and in that way i get 36.8 gram equivalents so this is uh, just to calculate the normalities this much gram equivalents per liter because we calculated in liters so the normality is 36.8 for the given concentrated h2so4 and for this purpose we can also use molarity we can calculate which is equal to n factor into normality so one normal solution will be equal to two molar solution so n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 and uh, for this purpose i just want to prepare one normal solution and in 100 ml measuring plus so for that purpose i need to use this normality equation and i get the volume of this concentrated h2so4 so 2.7 2 ml of concentrated H2SO4 I have to add into 100 ml and caution is that we are not going to add water to the acid however we do the reverse of this we are just going to add the acid to the water so here the calculated amount 2.7 ml I have transferred to this measuring uh, cylinder so so here in this beaker i have taken some amount of distilled water and with the help of this glass rod i am just going to add this concentrated h2so4 so here you can see i am just going to add the acid to the water and uh, this is actually done because in this way there is very very less chances of the bumping so now i am just going to rinse this measuring cylinder two three times and i add this uh, rinsed water to the beaker now i am going to wash this road also and i am going to transfer this uh, water and uh, sulfuric acid solution to the measuring flask just to make up it up to 100 ml i am again going to rinse this beaker so it is better you just take a small amount of water to add the concentrated h2so4 so that you have enough space to add in the measuring flask right so here i am just going to make up the water up to the mark and here i am just going to add distilled water to this measuring flask now it is up to the mark here you can see so this is our one normal h2so4 solution and here for if you want to prepare in 100 ml so you can use this much volume 2.7 and for 250 ml 6.8 and for 1000 ml 27.2 concentrated h2so4 you need to take right if you want to prepare one n by 10 of this so how you are going to do so n by to prepare this n by 10 we again use this normality equation and 10 ml of this one normal solution we need to add to the 
another measuring flask and make up up to 100 ml so that we will have n by 10 H2SO4 solution. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.